It's time for some inspiration now, and tonight we get it from a man who grew up in the remotest of villages in Transmara, had his first education as a herds boy at the age of five, and went to school for the very first time at the age of nine. However, this Maasai herds boy has grown to become one of the most respected educationists in the country. Professor James Olekiapi told Joy Dorin Vera about his big break. People are not going to school. And, but my dad, because he came from an area, you know, we were the Maasai who moved away from Wasingishu down to current Maasai land, Trosmara. So when we left there, my, my, my father had a li limited interaction with the colonialists in the early 20s, 30s. And so when we, when we went to where we are now, there was a kind of a feeling for him to send kids to school. So my brother, my, my, my oldest brother, was the first one to go to school in that area. So I really wanted to go to school for some strange reason. I remember I even went to a, a witch doctor one day, the one who used to play these uh, stone things, marbles, and to tell you uh, your future, predict your future. And, and I remember asking the, the fellow, tell me, am I going to school? And I was a little boy of about nine years. I felt like I, I should be in school. And he actually played around and said, yeah, you're going to school. I didn't even know which high, what high school was. I was just a rural boy trying to find a direction. But this guy said, you're going to university. And university is, the, is like the topmost place you go for in, to, in terms of formal learning. And from that day, if you're looking for a moment, from that day, I knew I had to go to the top place in formal learning. And um, there, was, there, there were several triggers, actually. It was not even one. That was one trigger. The other trigger was when, out of nowhere, I did my CPE. That time it was called CPE, uh, Certificate of Primary Education, not KCPE that we have today. And the results came, and I had maximum scores, and I became a little you know, a village hero. It's like I was going to Nairobi. Nobody, you know, Nairobi was just this imaginary place, like beautiful, nice place. So I said I was going to Nairobi because Alliance High School was close to Nairobi. And I think that is then when I knew wherever people go, I'm going. I was very courageous. I was really courageous, even as a small boy. I never allowed anything to come, to come in, uh, you know, like in between me and what I wanted to do. I will do it anyway. And if I got the results, very well and good. If I didn't get the results, I would try again. But I didn't give, I would not give up. Even today, I don't give up. Okay. Education in it is finest ex expression, is truly the excellence of everything that we are, wherever we come from. So when you hear uh, uh, Lupita Nyong'o say, the dream of every child, wherever they come from, is valid. What she's really saying is that no matter where you come from, if you put yourself on the course and you push yourself, whether you are a Maasai, Kikuyu, or Giriyama, whatever you are, your culture becomes part of that education that we are talking about. Kids in, a, a child in Korogosho or Kibera who succeeds and goes to a national school or even a top school and finally, finally go to university. My God, the education there is unbelievable. True.